Are you guys ready for a bloody video? Because today, I'm gonna share with you my very first Blood Knight melee type PvP build. Blood Knight is the newest class in Diablo Immortal. It has a wide range of versatile skills to cover range and melee type builds. So Diablo Immortal players now are getting overwhelmed on what kind of build to use. So I'm here to test all of the builds for you. But before we proceed, kindly hit that subscribe button and notification bell as this is only the beginning of our journey with this new bloody class. Now without further ado, let's begin. First the green set. We have 4 pieces of Mountebank and 2 pieces of Vitha Surges. You might be wondering why this, instead of any continual damage set items. As I said before, whenever you choose a melee class, always think that you will take all kinds of enemy damage when you dive into the clash. So better be prepared and make your every melee class a bit tanky or super tanky. In this case, Bloody Knight is almost similar to any other melee class except you have a variety of skills that can help you inflict huge damage even without the help of the continual damage set items. You just better be careful in choosing your skills to properly execute your combo. But, worry no more my friends. I got your back. That's why I'm here, it's my purpose for releasing these kinds of videos. So let's move on to our legendary gears. Start with the headgear, the Vow of Trickery. Aside from dealing damage, our Whirling Strike now can block incoming projectiles. As a melee type, this is very helpful for our Bloody Knight as we deal damage and are still in defensive mode simultaneously. Now, for our chest part, no more bygones. Sanguinate now also shatters enemy armor, increasing the damage they take for a certain amount of time. When you use this skill, you can move faster than usual and unhindered. With this essence, you can now also shatters the enemy's armor and hit them with a burst attack inflicting more damage than usual. For the shoulder gear, we have the evil thoughts. Our umbral lance skill will gain one additional charge so you can have an extra to deal a final attack if the enemy managed to evade the first ones. For our leg part, we have the castellatia. When you use the Sanguinate skill and pass through to the enemies, you can actually stop at their location and hit the Sanguinate again for its second activation. You will then burst into the air, damaging, knocking up, and stunning all the enemies nearby. This can help you execute the burst attack properly which may lead to the death of the nearby enemies. Now on our first main hand weapon, we have the Red Concord. Our Whirling Strike now combusts, causing any enemies in its range to burn. A literal meaning of adding fuel to fire. And in my own opinion, this could be possibly the best source of the firestorm effect for the Blood Knight. As we all know, Whirl is usually associated with the wind element, and of course, with the burn effect of this essence, it may trigger the firestorm effect. Now let's move to our first offhand weapon, the Sprig of Hawthorne. Skewer also increases the damage done for a certain amount of time. Meaning every time you use the skewer skill, you will gain additional damage to whatever skills or attacks you throw to the enemies for a certain amount of time. For the second main hand weapon, we have the Besalver. Modifying our skewer skill causes us to leap into the air and slam into the target location, knocking enemies up and stunning them. Similar to our Sanguinate skill, this can also help cancel any enemies at the back line who are throwing channeling skills. Giving you the advantage also as a melee to execute your combo or any burst attack as you land on the target location. Last but not least on our legendary gears, we have the Wound Well. This modifies our Umbral Lance skill to throw multiple spears in an arc with a maximum of two charges. If you're familiar with the character Gushin in Mobile Legends, this skill with this essence is a bit similar to his. Throw it near the enemy and you'll inflict a burst of damage. Throw it from afar you'll make wide continual damage. So this essence is actually really helpful both in PvP and PvE. And for our combat stance, as a melee type, 
we activated the fortified stance for more defensive purposes. So that's all for today guys. Stay tuned to this channel as we unveil all the possible builds for this class. Happy gaming everyone, see you guys next time.